my first reaction on the character um, was I, I couldn't kind of comprehend how I could, where I could kind of, what angle I could come at. Um, it really was something uh, I've never uh, encountered before or really been asked to play. I mean, I'm grateful that Tom thought of me and gave me that opportunity to, to do this because those are the excitements that you get as an actor to to really challenge what your what's not in your com comfort zone, um, and then to have a filmmaker who who will take you there and take you on that journey, and uh, and that's exactly what I did. You know, I had a lot of questions and, and a lot of concerns, and really we didn't have you know a lot of a lot of self doubt and not much confidence, and until I sat down with Tom, and then he, did he kind of like you know, educate me and express what he wanted and and really just uh, start to create and collaborate with him, did I realize that I, you know, could let go and give give him, you know, put, put my trust in his hands and, and, uh, and it was thrilling and exciting and, uh, and that's kind of, yeah, it's kind of how it came about. But I think as a whole, the script um, was, uh, just this whole sort of looking back at your relationship and what you in regret and, and it being portrayed through this narrative of this story yeah. in the way that it was was extremely um, original and complex and ambitious and just uh, unique um, and seeing that love story kind of unravel but back to front you know was just really um, eloquent and interesting. I did, and I made the mistake of telling Tom that I was, you know, reading it at the time, and I got I was halfway through, and he told me to stop. And usually I'd go, you know, continue reading, but um, but I asked him why, I said, well, why, and he said because it's so much more than that now, you know. Like if you read a drafts way back, then yeah, sure, but at that point it had already grown into something that was more personal to him and more unique. Uh, and I respect that, you know, yeah. um, because ultimately it's his vision and I want to be on the director's page from, you know, and, and so it was hard to, but because I was intrigued to see, you know, is there something I can, you know, pick out? But he said specifically for you, Ray, I want, he transformed him and made him something different and there's something he wanted and visually. Um, so I wanted to go on that journey with him and create what he wanted because there's no point you know, going by someone's back and doing something Quite. different, so, um, so yeah, so. Yeah, absolutely, I, you know, and I see him not only as a director, I do see him as a filmmaker, you know, the fact that uh, he found this material and then, you know, worked on it and adapted it to a screenplay and then, and then, you know, he's just, he's, he's, he's all in yeah. and that passion drives everything. You know that becomes the center point, and everyone is just magnetically pulled to that kind of a person, and that's a true director right there. You know? so. Yeah, Ray, my character's a not only is he a fictional character, but he's 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 a part of Susan's sort of imagination and a real. Um, he's that he's that fear that we all have that that can suddenly out of nowhere come along. And, uh, and and destroy everything. He's chaos, he's um, this force of nature that is unpredictable. Um, my character is uh, charming and charismatic, but ultimately dangerous. And he will take whatever he wants. Maybe. Absolutely, yeah. I, I researched uh, characters that had those sort of similar um, events, such as like um, Jeffrey Dormer or Ted Bundy, for mm -hmm. one. I mean, it's very sort of, you know, um, books. Uh, I think there's Killers on the Road. Um, there are, yeah, sort of psychopaths and. Um, you know the the empathy that they have no empathy behind the eyes and um, yet totally believe in what 
that what they're doing is not inhumane and and the psychology of that um, the charisma and charismatic sort of magnetic pull that these kind of guys can have mm. um, which is what's the f that frightening aspect it is um, there was a documentary a HBO documentary at the time called The Jinx um, which was extraordinary to watch um, and kind of grab um, from any of these characters grab sort of mannerisms um, you know and then also Tom set the book um, in West Texas and wanted my character to be you know of that kind of redneck area yeah so then you know tonally I have I have a place you know I have somewhere I can kind of be so yeah. I I hang out you know I I, I started uh, you know I went to Texas and you know, I know there's in Martha and you know you spend some time there and pick up some things and and, things Alex, like that. and, and yeah. you know what's cigarettes do they smoke how do they you know what's the thing you know anything it's a physicality um, and then also for Tom what's fun to play with character is that and, and, and how I kind of work also is sometimes you have to deal with the aesthetic first of what the, what does the character look like you know and then and then kind of go deeper you know start on the outside and go in uh, or, or miraculously sort of do it at the same time but whilst mm. you're playing so and he knew what's clever about Tom was I think he needed a new image for me you know like um, what haven't you know I think that's kind of what Tom's really great at doing as well sort of taking an actor and, and pulling them out of their comfort zone but then creating something that you've never seen before which I think is you know is you know he's straightened my hair or had me grow a beard and then he personally shaved you know mutton chops in really? you know, but I love how connected we were he didn't have someone else do it or he doesn't act in the way that we all hope for. completely which is what I think is the is what's amazing to see you know it's uh, and I know Jake like you said earlier that was a real hard thing to stop himself from in those moments yeah. because it was my job to push him to the brink and um, you know push his buttons and really manipulate him psychologically and and get reactions out of him and make him feel vulnerable and and, and you know and insecure and so it was kind of it was challenging you know and, and tough. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I. It's. Uh, it's. It's. I mean, it's all I kind of know, really. To it's. It's. It's therapeutic in a way. You know. It's. It's. It's an interesting way to explore. People and psychology and. Interact in this way that. You know. It's. It's extraordinary to. It's a feeling that is. It's 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 like living on the edge, and 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 and, and it's it's scary. I think mm. um, it's hard to explain, but it's um, for movies like this anyway. You know, I mean, there are other movies I've done, and it's you know, it really doesn't have to be uh, not like it's taken seriously, but it's it's more like all on the surface or can be fun and mm. enjoyable but when when you take a character and and, and really study and, and want to kind of create that then um, then it's it's yeah it's sort of changing the DNA almost in your in your body and you take something from it I don't know what it is because it can be something that you look back in time and go huh there's a reason why I did that then or or that kind of was interesting because that imitated, you know, art imitating life in some way. I mean, not in this character specifically, but there's something that always you take something from, yeah. from characters. I think. Um, yeah, it's, it is. It, I enjoy it when it's things like this. I think experiences for me are what last yeah. uh, more than the film.
the film can go on for years and years, but I don't know, you know, it's like whatever, what I remember was the intimacy that we all had together. We were working with Tom and Jake and on that night and those scenes and where we went to was a heightened level of, you know, somewhere that we've, you know, out well out of our comfort zone where you just feel free to explore and play. And it's uh, incredible. My ex-husband used to call me a nocturnal animal. I've been thinking about him a lot lately. And then recently he sent me this book that he's written. It's violent and it's sad. Then he dedicated it to me. Did you love him? I did something horrible to him. What are we gonna do? It's a question of how serious you are about seeing justice done. person that you thought I was. You're crazy. You're making a big mistake. You'll never find out. When you love someone, you have to be careful with it. You might never get it again. It's fun to kill people. We should try it sometime. <laughs> Nobody gets away with what you did. Nobody. Nocturnal animals.